Hey everyone, Josh here at House Guitars. It is uh, early December 2019 and I wanted to shoot a quick video talking about um, signs that your guitar may be suffering from dryness. Uh, winter here in Canada, uh, we've been in, just getting into winter now for the past uh, month or two and this is the time of year everyone's turning the heat on in their house and if you're not properly humidifying your guitar this is where signs of dryness can show up and uh, damage can start to occur. So what I have on my bench here is a Martin HD35 uh, that just came in and it is suffering from some dryness damage. And the obvious thing is this crack uh, here on the top. And this crack I actually repaired uh, back in the summer. But the guitar has dried out a lot and is now, the crack has reappeared. Um, but there's also some, some other signs of dryness. And I just want to point out the things that you should be looking for, uh, things that you might notice that are obvious signs that you need to uh, start humidifying your guitar right away. The biggest thing with this guitar uh, may not be immediately obvious, um, but it's that the top has actually sunken. And on an acoustic guitar, they're called flat top guitars, but most acoustic guitars are actually built with a slight radius in the top. So there should be a slight arch um, in this area of the top. And what we find here with this guitar is if we put a straight edge on it, um, so the, the ruler is touching on the corners of the guitar, there's a quite a considerable gap where the top has fallen um, in front of the bridge. And that gap extends all the way up here and actually right, um, if we put the straight edge right behind the bridge, it's hard to see, but there's a couple millimeters gap under the straight edge there. There is a slight bulge if we get back here on the top, but uh, overall the top has really fallen a lot on this guitars. And um, these Martin guitars are braced fairly lightly. It also has the scalloped bracing where the, the bracing, the X brace is carved out a bit. Um, so a guitar like this might be a little more susceptible to, uh, to the dryness and the top falling, um, but uh, extreme dryness can cause this uh, damage in any guitar. So um, for starters, I'm gonna be, uh, I've got this guitar just sitting in my shop, which is always a proper uh, humidity right around 45% relative humidity and uh, it might need a little more treatment to bring that top back up and get that crack closed up but uh, that is uh, a very obvious sign that your guitar is suffering from dryness and what happens to wood as it dries out is it shrinks now it doesn't tend to shrink along the length of the grain it it tends to shrink more along the width and so another place that um, the dryness shows up is the fretboard and the fretboard won't shrink along the length, but it will shrink in the width. And when that happens, um, your fret ends start to stick out a bit. And if I run my hand along the edge of this fretboard, I can feel the very sharp corners of the frets. They're sticking out just a bit, um, but you shouldn't be feeling those uh, if the guitar is properly humidified and your frets are properly dressed. Um, however, if your guitar does dry out, uh, that tends to be one of the first things that appears. Um, once the guitar is dried out and properly humidified, the wood uh, doesn't always go, or it often doesn't go right back to its original place, so you may have to get those fret ends dressed just a little bit. It's not a big operation, but you will need to get a little bit of filing and polishing done um, to get rid of those sharp edges. Another place where uh, the dryness issue can show up, and it's, it's not really on this guitar, but it's something to look for. Um, along the back, if you, if you look along the binding, again, what happens is the wood will shrink widthwise, but on the inside are braces, typically running straight across the back. And so what can happen is that as the wood shrinks, the uh, back brace does not shrink, it stays in place. And you'll often see, or I've, I've saw it many times, where the binding gets pushed out and a very small gap forms along the edges of the binding between the binding and the back. As the back panels shrink, uh, those braces just hold the binding out and you end up with, with gaps. And I can see, um, 
uh, you can see that a little bit of it caught in the camera um, just where the the finish has fractured a bit along the edge of the binding now that happens on guitars with plastic binding but it is worse right in this area where there is a brace and that brace has not moved but the back has moved a bit uh, another place you can sometimes uh, see a bit of a gap show up is along the heel if things dry out too much you'll see a little bit of a gap form uh, this guitar doesn't really have uh, anything going on there but it is something to definitely check on your own guitar so those are just a, a few of the the key things to look for um, in evaluating your instrument to see if it is uh, possibly too dry. Um, as the, the fretboard dries out, it tends to flatten out, and so buzzing can very quickly become an issue. Also, if your top sinks like this, everything drops. So again, your guitar may start buzzing where it wasn't buzzing before. That's another sign that uh, dryness may be a problem. So uh, if, if some of these symptoms are showing up in your guitar, typically... Uh, none of this stuff will cause permanent damage if you catch it early enough, uh, but you do definitely want to get um, some humidity into the guitar. So highly recommend keeping your instrument in its case with some kind of case humidifier. Lots of options for sound hole humidifiers or humidifiers that go up around the headstock. Um, a lot of people like the Humidipack system. Uh, D'Addario is one of the people that, uh, that sell that. And... Uh, that can be a good option too. Um, if you are hanging your instruments on the wall or keeping them on a stand in your house, it's best to do that inside an, an enclosed room that has a humidifier and preferably uh, you want to be able to monitor that humidity in the room to ensure that it is actually um, high enough uh, to to prevent dryness. It, it, the dryness um, that can occur at this time of year can be extreme enough uh, in some people's houses that even though they are running a humidifier or have a humidifier on their furnace, it may not actually be enough um, to keep the humidity up where it needs to be for a musical instrument. Typically in North America, we're looking for somewhere around 45% relative humidity. That's where your instrument will be most comfortable. So uh, check your, your acoustic guitar. Um, guitars that are made out of plywood, lower end guitars are not as susceptible to humidity as a solid wood instrument like this one, but I uh, highly recommend you humidify your guitar no matter what the brand, um, even electric instruments can benefit from uh, humidification during the winter months, and that's typically between October uh, to April depending on exactly when the seasons are where you live, so hope this is helpful. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos, uh, lots of guitar related content for both um, instrument makers and guitar players. Thanks for watching.